Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited because I'm gonna bring you that new content that I promised you guys. And lately I feel like with this whole coronavirus thing, God has been putting in my heart a lot about archangels and the angelic realm. And uh, for some reason, the Archangel Michael has always called out to me. Now, before I begin this video, I want to apologize in advance because my kids are home, obviously. Um, they're being super rowdy. They're in the room playing, but they are really loud. So, and I was going to go into the back room because my back room is like the quietest room of the house, but I don't have a computer there. So, and I really want to read to you guys from an article that I found in regards to five signs, Archangel of Archangel Michael. Uh, before I begin, I want to share a story with you guys. Um, and I know I shared this in one of my mukbangs many years ago. And just so that you guys know, this is the second time I tried making this video. I was like halfway through the video and it cut me out. And when I went back to my phone to look at the camera roll to at least, you know, make sure that it's safe there. And then I just continue with another video because I got cut off. The video completely disappeared and it says it only recorded five seconds of the video when I know for a fact that I was looking at my phone the whole time and it was by like eight minutes already. So obviously the devil does not want me sharing this video with you, but he ain't going to shut me up. I'm going to make it as many times as I have to, as many takes as I have to take, but this video is going to go out. <laughs> anyway, many years ago, <clears throat> uh, when I was recently married with David and we, we still hadn't had any children. With my first husband, I tried for three years to get pregnant. I always suffered from infertility issues. I was never able to have children with my first husband. Then we got divorced and whatever. A few years passed by, I met David. We got married. And uh, before we conceived any of our children, one night I was in my bedroom. We were both sleeping and all my shades were closed. The lights were off, no TV, nothing. It was completely dark in my room. And all of a sudden, I felt the sense of peace. And I was like, oh my God, it felt amazing. But I get up in my bed because something made me just sit up in my bed. And I look around the room and I feel like I look, I see this beautiful light. Like my room was surrounded by angelic beings. Like I know there was angels in my room. And I was like, babe, babe. And, and then it's like, what, what, what happened? And I'm like, but it, I felt such peace in a way that I felt like my words were coming out like in slow motion, you know? Because I was like, I'm like tapping him and I'm like, do you not see them? And he's like, see who, see what? Like he was freaking out, you know? Like, there's angels all around the room. And like the last thing I heard from David before he knocked back out again, he was like, man, you get to see all these things. You know, like, because I've always been very in, in tune with like the, the supernatural and like the spirit realm. And, you know, like, I've always been very connected to God and, and like, just the spirit world and he was like man you're so lucky you always get to see all this stuff and boom he went back to sleep like completely knocked out and he didn't see experience hear nothing that night because i believe that that message was meant for me right it came remember angels are messengers of god and this is in the bible so for those christians who want to say like oh i don't deal with the angelic realm or you know i don't invoke angels or anything like that because god is the only one you should pray to the bible clearly talks about archangels angels are messengers of god remember when the angel i believe it was angel gabriel that appeared to mary the virgin mary the mother of god and she he told her that she was going to conceive the son of god so i've always believed in angels you know but i've never really been how, how would you say driven to seek them to ask for their protection you know and the Bible clearly says that God sends his angels to us. Each and every single one of us are assigned a guardian angel. When we're born and when we get baptized, we are each assigned a guardian angel. So, uh, yeah, for some reason, I've always felt drawn to Archangel Michael. Um, I don't know, just the name. The name Michael. I mean, I'm surprised that I didn't name any of my kids Michael because I've always been... Uh, fascinated by that name that name michael has always appealed to me i don't know why and i don't know why i didn't name any of my kids michael but all my kids have biblical names but for some reason yeah i don't know because i've always loved the name michael and no not because of michael myers yes i love halloween but <laughs> for real i've always been drawn to the name michael so anyway i wanted to share this with you guys okay five archangel michael signs number one feeling a warm tingling sensation the first sign of Michael I want to share comes through 
you're simply feeling his light and presence. When Archangel Michael steps forward, his energy feels so bright, warm, and uplifting. I feel it like a warm, tingling sensation throughout my being. Feeling this warm, tingling sensation in your body is a sign he's with you. You may feel your energy shift, lighten up, or it may simply feel like your very cells are glowing and tingling with light as you become aware of his presence with your subtle senses. You also might like, oh, I'm sorry. You also might feel like you literally have an orb of light around you shielding you when Michael steps forward to guide or protect you energetically. Archangel Michael is an archangel of the sun and he carries electric blue fire. This is part of why feeling that warm tingling sensation is a sign he's with you. If you don't resonate with my description of what Archangel Michael feels like and you feel something else, pay attention to that as it may be different for you. Really describing what angelic energy feels like is beyond words. So just pay attention to how you feel. And if you notice a subtle shift after you call Archangel Michael in, because that tingling, glowing, or just feeling so incredibly light and uplifted is a clear sign that Archangel Michael is indeed with you, has answered your request, and is assisting you in your life. Number two, seeing flashes or flickering light. The second sign Michael is with you is that you start to see or notice flickers, sparkles of flashes of light. As I mentioned above, Archangel Michael is deeply connected to the sun and carries the energy of electrical fire. So anytime you are connecting with Archangel Michael, the likelihood of seeing flashes of light, sparkles of light on water, bluish purple orbs or geometries, light are clear signs of Archangel Michael. You might see this sort of light in your meditations appearing in your mind's eye, or you might see physical lights flashing, flickering, or noticing a light glow or halo appearing in your field of vision. Now, I'm not on to the meditation thing. I don't do yoga or meditation or anything like that. You, uh, that is a line that Christians shouldn't cross, and I'll make a different video about that, but um, I do believe in prayer, obviously. So in prayer, you do receive these things. Number three, seeing pictures of Archangel Michael, swords, or warriors. The third sign Michael is assisting you is that you start to see images of him popping up in your life. These images could show up on your social media timeline, on a commercial, or you may simply see them when you're out and about. In addition to images that are clearly representative of Archangel Michael, you might also see images of swords, warriors, or shields. And really, seeing any sort of protective or warrior imagery can be a sign from Archangel Michael. This is especially true when you see these images and the timing of your seeing them is synchronistic. Also, when you keep seeing images of Michael at different times and places, this is a really clear sign he's with you and wanting to get your attention. This sign doesn't only come through pictures, though, and can also manifest through your noticing sculptures or artwork depicting Archangel Michael or other Archangel Michael symbols like shields, swords, or warriors. When you begin to see Archangel Michael artwork and symbolism after you've asked for assistance, that is a huge sign of his presence. Number four, you hear and receive angelic guidance, the fourth sign that Archangel Michael is really with you and assisting you, guiding you, protecting you, and supporting you is that you begin to hear guidance. This guidance may come through your inner sense of hearing, through your clear audience, or inner voice. You may simply receive the guidance from Michael in the form of thoughts that are empowering, that are supportive, that remind you that you're safe, that remind you that you're surrounded by light, and remind you you are okay. Receiving this sort of guidance, even if it's very subtle, is a big sign of the presence of Archangel Michael, especially when you receive guidance after you've asked for insight, protection, or support from Michael. Hearing guidance as a sign of Archangel Michael can also come in another way. You may overhear little bits or snippets of other people's conversations that bring you a sense of confirmation or validation. For example, say you ask for protection or support from Archangel Michael when you're walking down the street and shortly thereafter, you pass a little cafe and as you walk by, you overhear the conversation of two people sitting outside and someone says, yeah, Michael, that's great. This is a sign. When you're working with Archangel Michael, you may actually start to see, hear, and notice the name Michael more. This is a beautiful sign and validation. Also, you may overhear a little bit of a conversation that just seems to stand out to you as offering you guidance or confirmation. For example, you may hear someone say, you really should eat healthier, start with more vegetables. And although they were not speaking to you, you heard it for a reason. When you hear guidance in this way and you feel that it's meant for you, trust that and take it as a sign from Archangel Michael. Number five, you feel watched over and protected. Last but not least, the fifth sign of Archangel Michael's presence in your life is that you feel protected. You may feel like someone is watching over you. You feel like you're being guided, supported, uplifted, and most importantly, protected. 
when Archangel Michael connects directly with you, he places light in your energy field that acts as a sort of shield. This naturally feels uplifting, protecting, supportive, and so empowering. You, so of course, have to be sensitive to be able to feel the light and shield of Archangel Michael. So if you're not feeling it, don't judge yourself or say that you're not connected with Archangel Michael. Rather, just begin to pay more attention to your subtle feelings and sensations when you ask Archangel Michael to step forward. Do you feel like you're being watched over? Do you feel supported? If you're walking home at night and you turn down the wrong street and it's dark and you feel a little self-doubt or even fear creak up and then you think or say, Archangel Michael, protect me now. And then you suddenly feel a little better. Trust that he has indeed stepped forward to assist you on your path. Feeling supported and protected is a sign that Archangel Michael is with you. And that's it. It says invite the help of angels. Whether you're currently experiencing any of these signs or not, remember to invite the presence of not only Archangel Michael, but also your personal team of guides and angels of light and love who can most serve, support, help, and assist you in your life. The angelic realm is always right there, ready and willing to assist you when you ask and invite angelic help in. Okay. I hope that these signs of Archangel Michael's presence have been helpful for you to learn and helpful for you in recognizing that when you ask, you are indeed assisted. Remember to be open to how the guidance from the angels unfold in your life as it will likely be different than you expect. Finally, trust your inner guidance. Trust your intuition as to whether what you experience is a sign. For example, if you find a butterfly sticker on the ground and you feel like it's a sign from Archangel Michael, it probably is. And you guys know that I made a video a while back when my dog Sadie died that I kept seeing butterflies everywhere all the time when I would go for my walk. And I felt like something or someone or God was trying to tell me something with the meaning of those butterflies. And I went online and I looked up the meaning of butterflies and it was just amazing. You know, it, it's like it was talking to me. So I definitely believe, believe in science in nature as well. So listen to your inner guidance because that is where the angels will begin to connect with you. Listen, trust, and act upon the guidance you receive and know that you're so loved and supported by Archangel Michael and by all of the angels of love and light in the higher realms. I hope that this article was helpful for you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there you have it, you guys. Those are the five signs of Archangel Michael when you start to feel that when you pray to God, you know, because God... Of course, God is number one, right? God is the only one to be worshipped and adored and praised. But God has his angels for a reason. They are messengers of God. You know, God assigns each angel a task to do. And they are sent to guide us, to help us, to protect us, to lead us. So I have always truly believed in the angelic realm. I've never really, but I've just never really been intrigued to it, intrigued by it to the point I am now. I never became aware of it. In the sense that, like I said, I've, I've, I've always believed in it, but I never became really aware of it until I had that experience that night. And that night, I didn't finish the story. That night, after I saw the angels and David just like knocked out again, I felt like a, a very warm whisper in my ear. Like something that just told me it was going to be okay. I'm going to have my baby. I, know I don't need to suffer anymore with infertility because I'm not in that place anymore. That was my past but God had new plans for me. And you know what? After I received that message, I felt so peaceful that I just completely laid down, knocked out the rest of the night, and boom, that's it. A few weeks later, I took a pregnancy test, and I was pregnant with my first son, Samuel. God is amazing, and angels do exist, and God sends them our way to guide us, lead us, protect us, and give us messages. Like I said, they are messengers of God. So I truly believe in angels, because the Bible speaks of angels. If the Bible didn't speak of angels, then I wouldn't believe in it. I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't seek it because that does not come from God. But they do. God created every being. Now, I'm going to get a little more into another video because I don't have time now. I only have 15 minutes. But we must be careful because there are fallen angels. So don't be getting into tapping into all these angelic realms and trying to like call upon angels you don't know about. I know about the, the main archangels, which are Michael and Gabriel, I think Uriel as well. But we must be careful as well because there's also the other realm, the demonic, and there are fallen angels, right? Like Lucifer. Lucifer, Satan, was one of the most beautiful angels, but then he fell. So we must be careful. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited to be bringing this new content, and I will see you on my very next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.